World War II had been raging for four years. Richard Bauknecht was anxious to join the fight. A lot of the guys in our class were leaving, and I wanted to go in too. With four brothers already in the Army or Army Air Corps, they made sure Bauknecht didn't join their ranks. They kind of told me that if you want three meals a day and a place to sleep, go in the Navy, so I did. So then 17-year-old Richard Bauknecht enlisted with the U.S. Navy. That meant all five Bauknick brothers were in service all over the globe. Brother Floyd was in the Quartermaster Corps in England, but on the front lines of a new high-tech form of warfare. His eyesight was bad. He was over in Liverpool. The Germans knew that that was the main port for the convoys coming from the States. They took good, good care of the bombing and dropping those rockets on them. Brother John Bauknick saw action during the Battle of the Bulge, which created a lot of angst for the whole family, especially with Christmas close at hand. When the Germans broke through on the 16th, uh, they were starting to lay that, re relax for the evening. And uh, somebody hollered, the Germans are coming. So everybody said, go for the, find a shelter, find a, grab your gun and find a shelter. The Germans are coming. He was lost for two weeks. He was pretty good at writing letters, but mom didn't hear from him. She was pretty shook up. Brother Lyle, Butch Bauknecht was a radio technician who made sure Liberator bombers targeting Japanese targets could communicate with each other. Brother Bob was with the infantry in the Philippines. But Christmas 1946 would be a red-letter day for the Bauknecht family. Our happiest year, we played cards and golfing with the brothers, and it was really a good time. We are all glad to get home. Richard credits his family's faith and prayers for the Bauknick brothers' survival. He recalled her letters in a Christmas story contest for the Herald Times Reporter newspaper. I could almost read the joy and thanksgiving in her letter. As, <coughs> excuse me, as her children had survived the war. I couldn't possibly imagine the pain and sorrow. All parents went through. Keeping it local in two rivers, Terry Kabarik, Local 5 News. And Richard was 92 years old. We'll be back.